hundreds of thousands of women die for really avoidable reasons. Because women are vulnerable in pregnancy, regardless of who they are. And then, and then you add you know, the situation of women in developing countries where they are anemic, and maybe they are poor, maybe they already have five children, maybe they have to walk five kilometers to fetch water every day. And so they're, they're vulnerable. Forgotten and poor Whose king is nailed to a cross A king who rejects the world's power By loving and suffering and teaching My favorite part is that the gates of the kingdom are wide open in the day, and there's no night. Like, I couldn't imagine anything better, really. For a lot of women, like, the gates have been shut on them, whether it's, like, because of poverty or caste or religion or race. But as we welcome the kingdom, we announce to people the gates of the kingdom are open for you. I just remember sitting on the couch in Cairo and just thinking about the women that we were working with, thinking about the women from Iraq and Sudan, thinking about the kids at Mother Teresa's orphanage, thinking about the women at the old folks' home, thinking about, and that Jesus says, like, blessed are the poor, blessed are those who mourn, blessed are the meek. And I was like, man, this is what the kingdom's about. Like, just basic knowledge on primary health care can save people's lives. Mm -hmm.